Hello, my name is Professor Tony Fuchs and I lead a research group at the Animal and Plant Health Agency here in the UK. We investigate the risks from a range of different pathogens that can infect both humans and animals. One of the main focuses of my team is to investigate cases of rabies that might affect the UK. The UK itself remains rabies free, although rabies is still responsible for the deaths of thousands of people in resource limited countries. The laboratory is recognised as an international reference laboratory involved in the global fight to eradicate rabies. The vast majority of human rabies cases, more than 99% of these, result from the bite from an infected dog. So the most effective way to eliminate human rabies, therefore, is to control canine rabies. And mass vaccination campaigns have facilitated the elimination of rabies in carnivores, in several countries worldwide, with a subsequent and significant reduction in the numbers of human rabies cases. So at APHA, we follow the One Health concept, and this means working collaboratively at the local, national, and global levels, and across multiple disciplines of health and veterinary medicine to eliminate canine rabies. So my team undertakes both investigative and research activities within custom-built, state-of-the-art, high-containment laboratories. We undertake investigations on samples submitted whenever rabies is considered a suspect diagnosis. And that might mean, for example, a dog that's died in quarantine or a bat submitted by a member of the public as part of surveillance for rabies virus strains transmitted by bats. The APHA team also assesses all suspect human cases that are submitted through public health authorities as part of a joined up government response to potential human diseases. <clears throat> so bearing in mind that rabies is one of the diseases with a 100% case fatality rate following the onset of clinical symptoms, the importance of a rapid testing regimen cannot be understated. The UK has been rabies free for over 100 years. And however, the reintroduction of rabies into Europe occurs relatively frequently from endemic areas. And the impact should an infected animal enter the UK requires continued vigilance. In recent years, the team has been able to rapidly rule out rabies infection in countless humans and animal cases. We've detected several cases of rabies infection in UK bats and our research in this area has contributed to UK policy, advising the public on how to safely interact with bats. We've also shown the safety and effectiveness of rabies vaccines for protecting dogs against rabies so that members of the public can travel freely within the EU and further afield with their pet animals under the EU pet passport scheme. And through global collaboration, the rabies team has also driven the development and testing of rabies samples so that capabilities can be developed in countries where the, where the virus is still endemic and in turn reducing the risk to rabies free areas such as the UK. So our collective global vision is for the elimination of human rabies caused by rabid dogs by the year 2030. Thank you for watching.